Hi everyone, Evgeny is back with you today and this is the second video about uh, introduction to land graph and building real AI agents. So uh, today we are talking about routers. So we're creating a example of real router and maybe you don't realize that, but we did it already almost last session, uh, but it was kind of hidden under the hood. So now we are trying to make it a proper way so it's visible that this is a real router. Join me and see. All right, today we are looking at a bit more complicated thing, which is a router. And what's that? We, we talked about this very briefly in one of our previous videos. Uh, this is a floor and then LLM is responsible for dynamically deciding, making a decision which, uh, which control flow should be taken. And well, if you think about what we ended up last time, uh, it was LLM's tools, it was already kind of a router because we had different behavior based on the user input. So when we asked about multiplication things, it was a tooling call, we had one type of response. Or when we asked something very basic like how are you, we had very generic answer as well. So it does not uh, try to calculate things for us. So it was kind of a router already, right? Uh, but today let's try and construct something which really looks like a router. And uh, probably you are not so interested in multiplication 2 by 3, right? Because we all know this is 6. And let's try something different. So what I'm going to demonstrate today will be uh, weather predicting or weather forecasting. And uh, I will be using this API, making a real API call. Uh, it's weatherapi.com and uh, this is the function first. Let's create a function or uh, the tool which can perform something and then we can play around with that. Uh, so what we have here, uh, you have to obtain your API key and I have it already uh, in the dot .environment file and you have to obtain your own. Uh, then what we have here, we have a basic URL, it's pretty straightforward. We are providing an API key, uh, we are asking for a city where you would like to know the weather and we are obtaining some additional data like air quality. We are saying yes, because the more information we have, the better we can, or the more interesting we can work with AI and try to uh, manipulate or uh, transform, summarize the output that AI gives us. And uh, pretty straightforward, right? make it a call. Uh, if it's uh, 200, then we know that everything is fine. We have the data which contains uh, a lot of different information about the weather in the current place, the one that you defined. And we are just collecting all this stuff in one place and then we're generating a weather report, which is basically a simple string. That's it, right? Pretty straightforward. And let's give it a try and see how it works, just to be sure that if it's broken, then it's not in this place at least. Uh, I will be tackling uh, the Berlin city because, well, it's happened somehow that I am from Berlin and uh, this is something I can just uh, look outside the window and check if the forecast is correct. So I'm triggering this one and we see that, okay, weather in Berlin, Germany is this one and that one, it feels like this and those and humidity and uh, it's cloudy, that's true. And this is today's date, more or less right in air quality which is terrible, I guess. I don't know how, how, how to interpret these numbers. Anyway, this is the function we have. Let's try to reuse it. So, and again, we're starting with the same thing. We are binding this function to our LLM and so last time we, we, we checked how it works already. So I'm not going to repeat all this stuff. Just let's see the example. Uh, I'm binding this get detailed weather, weather from weather API and uh, my prompt is how is the weather in Berlin, which is exactly kind of repeating the same thing, right? And we make a call to LM and what we get back is, uh, as expected, we have a tool call. So content is empty because there is nothing to reply. Uh, but we have that it's a tool call function should be triggered with this name and CT a parameter should be set to Berlin. That's pretty expectable, right? I would say. Okay, so what's next? Uh, let's try to create a uh, land graph graph with that. 
I'm repeating more or less the same thing which we uh, did last time with one small uh, thing which is different. We do have this conditional edges. So what's happening here? We are having we are adding a node LMS tools and this one uh, that triggers the message, which is like the the, the idea of this uh, node is to recognize if your message contains something about the weather. So then. Uh, yeah, this, 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 this is the, the, the interesting thing, because uh, remember we finished like, okay, we have a tool call, but practically it's up to you to make a call to this tool, right? It's only an informational response. And when you're talking about land graph, or probably it's the same in every uh, PI agents building tool, we have a special node which is responsible for performing the real execution of that. So we are... Uh, define a new node with the name tools and it knows how to get detailed weather if needed. And then we are trying to construct the whole graph. So we have a start from start.ln with tools and then we have a conditional age. And this one is very specific. Uh, it uses tools condition kind of switch from our land graph here. And the way it works, if there is a tool call, okay, then it goes to the node with ln with tools name. Otherwise, and this is the default behavior, it goes to the end, right? And, okay, after tools, uh, we go to the end as well, and let's compile it, and this is how it looks like, right? So it's already a bit different, right? If you're comparing with this one, where we finished last time, this one is more advanced, right? We have a start, we have LMS tools, and then this LLMS tools decides if there is a tool call, like getting the weather, then we go into tools, otherwise uh, we are just going directly to the end. And so, uh, well, let's give it a try, right? So the same, we have the uh, graph here, it's compiled, it's built already. We are in working with messages and we have the single message. So how is the web in Berlin? And then we just print out all the messages in the conversation. Let's see how our graph works. And it takes time because it's real cold. Oh, okay, it's here. So here what's happening, we have three messages. Take a look. How's the weather in Berlin? It was a message from me and it ended up with a tool call, this uh, parameter city to Berlin. And then based on that, it was a real call that happened. And then we have results of that. So this is how it works. And this is already a router architecture. So based on a specific decision, we can go this or that direction. But, uh, well, maybe, maybe let's make it a bit interesting here, right? And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to, it's not interesting to read this through, right? It's just numbers, I don't care about that. I have no idea what it means. Like uh, this 38 something of something on square meter, is it good or bad? I don't know. So let's ask AI somehow to process the output and provide us the result. And for doing that, it's pretty simple, right? We are adding a new node here after the tools. So what's happening, uh, we are defining a new node. Okay, I, this is just a copy paste, right? From the previous example, but uh, with some additional changes. So I'm adding a new node, uh, generate weather report. And the same, it takes the state. So what we are doing, we are fetching or uh, we, are, we are getting back the last thing, this one. Uh, so we are just grabbing the last message and we are taking content of this message. And then we do have a prompt and the prompt says that, okay, you are a friendly and chatty weather reporter. And then you have this weather data from within a weather table, kind of, it's kind of a table. I don't know, it doesn't look like a table, right? But anyway, this is a table. And please use this data to create a response and you should be friend and casual and you have to include your personal perspective and suggest some activities based on the weather. And please don't be so long because, well, we, we are really bored reading all these long texts, right? Uh, so what's next? Uh, this prompt, we are appending it to the messages and then we make again call to LM tools. And LM tools is just this LM thing, right, which knows about our tools, but in this case, uh, it will process the prompt as a normal textual information. So what happens next? Uh, we are generating our graph based on that. And the same, we have LMS tools, we have tools. 
uh, which is a tool node, and then we have the newly created node, which is generate weather report. And then we are configuring our edges. So we have the conditional one here. Uh, we add in a new edge from tools to generate weather report, and the, the, the final one just go to end if, if it's not about the weather, right? So we're compiling it again, and this time, see? It looks a bit different. That's uh, what I was talking about, right? So we have a start, we go to here. If this is about weather, then we call for a tool, and this tool gets us some real data from API, from weather API. Using that, we are trying to, again, to utilize LM and generate weather report, and then it's finished. Otherwise, like if this is a general chart, okay, then we provide an answer here, and then we end again, right? And here, let's take a look at, uh, well, these, those are two uh, pretty similar snippets. They are the same, exactly the same. The only difference is the content. So the first one is, how are you today? And the second one is, how is the weather in Berlin today? Right, this is the only change here. But let's check how different the output will be from these two, like almost the same snippets. So I'm running the first one, and... It says, okay, I'm just a program, so I don't have feelings, but I'm here and ready to assist you. So this was the general approach, right? The general flow from LMS tools, and it goes to the end immediately, and that's it. And now let's try and trigger the how's the weather thing. All right, now it's a bit different, right? As expected, and we have a bunch of different calls. So how's the weather? This is from me. Uh, then we have a tool call, okay, and there should be a get detailed weather function call. Then we have a tool message, which performed the real call and uh, made a real API call via network over internet and gets the data. And then we have, based on this data, uh, LM generated response. It's like, uh, let me open it here and make it maybe wrapping words. So, hi there, it's a chilly day here in Berlin, which is the temperature sitting around something, but it feels even colder due to the wind, and the sky is pretty overcast, and it's huge humidity, and it's shitty, 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 shitty thing, so stay warm. That's the way how it works, right? And again, uh, just to recap, there was a router architecture, a very basic explanation of router, so based on LLM decision, we can change the flow we are proceeding, right? And this is the uh, thing how it looks like uh, in real tool to build the agent. So we have a first node based on the decision we go to here or there, and here we have some processing in place. So that was it for router. All right, I hope now when you hear the word router and this connection to your agent, you're not scared, you understand what's it, what, it, what it looks like and how it works under the hood. And thanks for watching the video till the end, it's really, I really value that. So next time we will take a look at fully autonomous AI agents. But for now, have a good time, see you later, bye-bye.